you're the big boy. He's <laughs> a real big boy. The little camera shy. Hi YouTube, hey everyone. So I'm doing um, something a little different today. This is my roommate who I'm going to be interviewing. <laughs> so we've been living together for three and a half years. Oh my god, this has really been three, three and, and a years. half years since oh summer god. of 2014. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I can't believe we haven't killed each other. <laughs> 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 so, one of the reasons that we became friends is that we are both artsy fartsy folks. Uh, we're both into artwork and we've been kind of playing off each other, helping each other grow, working on art and stuff for the past couple of years. I'm going to be interviewing him on the... What, what user handles are you using nowadays? Litter again. <laughs> <laughs> so, how can people find you? Ugh, literally everything I'm doing now is under Sneaky Creature. I don't have any other... Like, and then AA A. Horrock is like your. That's like the art alias, art like alias. name I would like to be known by because I don't give out my actual name. You know? Okay. <laughs> Good thing I forgot to introduce you. So this is Sneaky Creature slash AA Horrock. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm just going to be asking him a couple of questions about his art, getting to know him. I know. Uh, some of you people have probably been following him online for a while. Been on DeviantArt since good old days. Oh my god, don't remind me. <laughs> <laughs> the original hell site. My battery is low. This is the end of the world. Oh no! <laughs> it's blinking. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep going until it dies. <laughs> okay, so my first question is, what got you into art? I want to say Digimon, but uh, that is wrong. <laughs> Digimon was my first ship. It was your gateway drug. It, oh, oh, please. <laughs> No, uh, what got me into art was actually Sleeping Beauty. I watched it for the first time when I was very, very young, and uh, the scene where she's walking up the, um, she's being led by that, like, ball that's like, ooh, I just, I love the animation in that sequence, and ever since then I just kind of been always doodling. <laughs> awesome. I feel like I'm being awkward. You're not. Okay. We're both being awkward. Oh, okay. That's what the YouTubers love. They just want to see people embarrass themselves. It's the only reason they watch videos. Oh, well, then I will be sure not <laughs> to disappoint. Good job. Ayo. Okay. So the next question is How would you describe your artistic style? Like, if you're walking up to someone cold turkey on the street and they're like, Oh, what like what do you do? What does your art look like? How do you describe yourself? This has happened so often and usually I just resort to saying it looks like Tim Burton. It's spooky, it's dark, and I, I, I've heard it called Western, it's like a Western comic style or something like that, but I don't really know. I, I just call it spooky. Spooky, <laughs> monochrome, yeah. line art. No color. Color is angular. I'd say angular. Angular, yeah. yeah. Word that comes to mind. Describe your art. So, who are some of your artistic influences? I have them right here. Oh my god, look who's so prepared. I am so prepared. Okay, some of these I don't know how to say. So, Tim Burton. Shocker. A dark, creepy, wild stuff like that I was always into. But as far as uh, current artists, Hiroyuki Takahashi. His art is just fantastic. He inspires me a lot, especially right now, because I'm learning how to let go of how rigid and like perfectionistic I was with my art. And he does live painting, and he watching him do, you know, the stream of consciousness thing and, you know, it's just, it's really inspiring to watch. He doesn't really think too hard about his pieces, but the, his pieces are just wildly detailed, like the amount of detail and, and little things. You could spend hours looking at a picture of his and like find like little details and like, oh, there's like a little chip in this person's tooth and like, oh, there's a little tattoo over here and yeah, I love it. So that's the first one. Second one. Ursula Decay, because, oh my god, who, who doesn't love Ursula Decay? I'm sure you know who that is, right? Let's inform our Okay, so watchers. Ursula Decay is, this is a promo. <laughs> it's turned into a promo. Hashtag not sponsored. No. <laughs> 
She is a fantastic, fantastic artist, and I've been following her work for... ever? She has a very distinct style. I don't really know what to call it, but it's very retro. Um, and, you know, she, her characters are just so unique, and arguably the greatest thing about her art is the expressions. Her facial expressions are so varied and just expressive. <laughs> and, um... Is this like an illustrator? Yeah, she's an illustrator. Digital. She's a freelance illustrator, and I think she only does digital work. But yeah, she's awesome. Okay, so uh, the next one, I don't even know how to say it, but everybody's freaking following him at this point. And that is, I believe his name is Igor, and I'm not going to say the full name because I, I don't know how to say it. It's, 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 it's the Behemoth Kurt Curtis Stavari. We'll link it below. I tried. I'm very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> His work is just unbelievable. It's so clean. It's crisp. It's very whimsical, which is, of course, something I love. And 90% of it is monochrome, so it's Ooh. right up my street. Ooh. And then the next one is Brando Chesa, the tattoo artist. Oh my <laughs> god. Eventually, I will save up enough money as a star starving artist, you know, because that's possible, um, to have a tattoo done by him, but I, I just, I love his designs. I love the way he uses color, everything about it, and, and tattooing in and of itself is an art, so, you know, just the color saturation and the level of skill there is just mind-boggling. And the last one is Loish? Loish, I Loish, think. Uh, Loish. I'm pretty sure a the majority of illustrators and artists that are watching this know who she is. I'm always inspired by even just like the little sketches that she puts up. I think there's a lot to learn from um, her color theory. Oh That's my god, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I saw her actually post something today where it's like these like bluish grays play off of these orange, this like she has this thing where like she makes things glow mm, and yes. really oh. understands color theory and color mm. vibrancy. I, I just... everything. Everything she does. Mm. I, the, not, you cannot go wrong. Everyone has those artists where you follow them and you're just like, they could post like a circle and you'd be like... <gasps> just take a picture of their poop <laughs> and you'd be like, where can I buy this? One million dollars. A masterpiece! You, <laughs> you can do nothing wrong. <laughs> if you could meet one artist, who would it be? I think you kind of semi answered that in the artist yeah. that you were talking about. Hiroyuki Takahashi, absolutely. I would do some pretty unspeakable things to be able to, um, <laughs> you know, pick his brain and, 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 and even see him do a live paint. That would be fantastic. I just, I love the energy that he brings to his work. I thought that you were gonna say, uh, Brando Chesa because well, then you could get a tattoo from him. Oh, well, I mean, <laughs> by all means, if you want to contact me, I mean, we'll put our, I'll put my email right here, you know. <laughs> well, I don't know if you want to do that, then all these creeps Oh will no. Get it. Oh no. There are slimy little paws. Dream job? Leica. There we Pixar, go. Pixar, Disney. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> So, speaking of Pixar, Disney, and Leica, um, what are some of your favorite animated movies or shows? Okay, so like anything, like underline it, anything done by Leica. If you do not know what Leica is, you need to go and watch all their movies. Reevaluate your life. What he said. Right now. Definitely those movies. L literally everyone, I cannot say a bad thing about any of them, but I do have a favorite. I want to see if you can guess what it is. You've known me for four years. Coraline? Oh, so close. What? No. <laughs> so close. It used to be. Okay, so I get half credit? You get half I credit. I get a B minus. Yeah, you get half credit. <laughs> no, uh, my favorite is by far and away Kubo. Yeah, that's fair. It's a it new was, favorite. It was just so stunning. Uh, we saw Kubo in theaters together and we were literally the only ones in the theater. It was like us two, our other roommate, yep. and one other guy like way in the front row, but... So good! Like, a um... Nightmare Before Christmas, I know, is like one of your... One of the, st the staples, yes. Mm -hmm. Um, it was the only movie that I was allowed to see that was somewhat dark, so I got attached to it. 
<laughs> That's so enough. sad. This is gonna be fun. What's your favorite and least favorite part of the artistic process? Ugh, you know what? When you gave me these questions to look at, I was like, this one's gonna kill me. Yeah, I can just like, <laughs> you with like the anime like angry like <laughs> mark above your head just like pulsing like, yeah, just put it there. the vein. Oh. Favorite part? I want to say it's the inking, but it has kind of shifted lately. I'm not as into making perfect lines, like I'm doing a lot of gesture work and then like finding my style in the gesture, like highlighting certain areas of it. It's, it's, it's interesting, my art is a lot curlier and curvier than it has been in the past and it's actually a lot of fun, especially with the new program, Get Clip Studio Paint Pro, it's awesome. You know, those things combined have really been helping me out. So then your favorite part would be like the digital drawing of like the line art? Well, it, it, it's it's kind of like the process of finding... Finding the image. Uh, oh god, it sounds like such a cheesy art thing to say. But I like, I guess the process of... Finding the forms? Yeah, I'm very bad at art vocabulary, so I don't really know what to call it yet. <laughs> so then your least favorite part? Composition. Really? That surprises me. Hate, hate, hate it. There's nothing more than that I, I, I just, oh my god, it drives me crazy. <laughs> like, trying to sit down with something in mind and put it on the paper is like the hardest thing for me. Nine, nine times out of ten I will start drawing something before I even know what it is. Like if I want to draw, like let's say I wanted to draw my character pickles, right? So I would be drawing a circle and a head and whatever and it might be pickles but halfway through doing the face it might look like my other character Harvey so I'm gonna go in that direction, you know, like so I, I'm really bad at choosing what's gonna be which is like the core of every project. So. Well, it's good to know your strengths and your weaknesses if you yeah. want to learn and grow. Do you have a message out there to any young aspiring artists, people that are interested in art? Yeah, um, if you are interested in it, keep doing it. Don't stop. Like, literally, just don't stop. If it's something that you love to do, then that love kind of carries through to what you end up creating and it shows. Some good solid words. Yeah. <laughs> good advice. And even if you don't like how your art looks now, if you keep working on it, you'll like it eventually. Oh my oh, god, boy. yes. Please, <laughs> please don't stop working on your art because it, it, it doesn't look right. Like, that is literally the entire or process. It doesn't look like, <laughs> like you see someone that's been doing art for 30 years and you're like, my art doesn't look like that. I'm 15, I'm gonna quit. Like, yeah, no. <laughs> I, well, I mean, then there's, you know, exceptions to the rule. There are people that I know that are 15 years old that make me want to cut my hands okay, off. Okay, quit. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone feels that way, so you're not alone. Anyways, everyone, I hope that you enjoyed this uh, interview. Let me know if you want to see more shit like it. <laughs> but I'm very blessed to have such a talented roommate and someone who is so hella cool. Oh. That was lame. <laughs> like, edit me out. <laughs> Doing the sign up is always the hardest part. Like, like trying to end a conversation that you don't want to be a part of with someone that wants to be like, yeah, so anyway, I have stuff this way, so I'll be going there now. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God, my nails are so shiny. <laughs> I'm not a roommate, everyone. This is what you have to put up with on a daily basis. Talk about, like, ADD, right? Like, like whoa, Ooh, shiny. shiny. But they really are, though. <laughs> Look at that. So shiny.